that I unburned fuel in there. But send it. So you kind of get the picture. Put a little more off of that one. I think we'll put that right in there. Alright guys, well, this is our, our intake. Uh, we didn't show a whole lot of the fabrication, but anybody who can sweat pipe can probably make this, this intake or a similar intake, maybe even a better one. Uh, it's been a while since I last picked up the camera. Uh, that's been my fault. So uh, since I last uploaded about the bike, uh, we had just got it running, and then things from there behind the camera it kind of went south. Uh, the bike wasn't really running as it should, it was, a lot of problems were happening. Um, so since then, we've changed our routing of the turbo, just to list a few things. We changed the routing of our turbo, we tried a different carburetor, and we ended up back with the one that we're, that we're still running uh, to begin with. Um, we made a new intake. Uh, we got all the, uh, at first we're having oil blow out the, the exhaust side of the turbo and um, so we got all that taken care of, got a fuel pressure regulator on it, uh, I ended up having to put a bigger uh, fuel pump on it, um, just, you know, minor things like that uh, that would change whenever you run forced induction to a motor, uh, but to begin with, bring it over. So, just to start out, we, my, for my birthday, my dad ordered me a uh, race tow piece, and that came in a few months back. I had to cut out this tail light unit. I had to cut out to put the tail lights back on. Um, it was all one unit, and I wanted to at least run the tail lights. Um, here's the intake. Let me get on the other side, actually. Here's the intake, so it's all copper. Um, my dad sweated with rosin and uh, soldering wire. But yeah, so that's all sweated, came out really good. Um, this is the carburetor we're running, the 42 millimeter uh, HSR, I believe, flash light. And here's the turbo. Like I said, we just changed it going directly up rather than running across and then up and then up and then back into the car this way. Just a lot shorter routing this way. Um, I finally got my forks on. Came out pretty good. Ordered a front fender. It was actually the wrong front fender, but uh, I made some brackets to get it to work and it's been fine. So I forgot what what model the XXR was off of though. But uh yeah so down here is the bracket for the, the oil pump, the scavenger pump. Got the bracket holding the scavenger pump in place and just turbo plumbing. But uh we got a dyno in the back. And from what it's, from the time that we had it on the dyno and ran it, I think it was only like about 70 horsepower to be honest with you. Um, we have to modify or add, add or take away fuel, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, so that's what we're at now with it, uh, my boss and I. Um, 
And like I said, on the dyno, we got about 70 horsepower out of the bike, and it was building boost. It was building about six or seven pounds, but we just couldn't go full throttle. Uh, it would, it had dead spots and whatnot. So the only thing that we did do to the carb, and it helped. The only two things we did to the carb was we ran a line. Well, to begin with, my dad blocked off the accelerator pump. So he, he put a plunger in that and it blocked it off. Um, but yeah, so we ran a line to the to the front of the the intake side of the carb and we connected off this line. So now we're running now we're getting fuel through it and now we're getting to about ten grand on attack whenever whenever it's the motor's under load, so Compared to about six and a half to ten, it's a pretty big step in the right direction.